It's not often we see an Australian series that is as popular as Married at First Sight Australia. The television series airs on Nine Network and it follows the lives of two strangers that are paired together by experts. No matter how realistic their union might seem, Australian law restricts any legal binding marriage. In today's video, we will focus on the couples that made their appearance in Season 7 and what they're doing now. We'll even reveal two of the cast that got together following the show, and spoiler alert, it wasn't with their pair on the show. But before we get started, quickly hit the subscribe button, like the video, and turn on post notifications so you never miss any updates from us. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Seb Gilhouse and Elizabeth Sabinoff Spice. Consumed by the love they had for each other while the show was on, Seb Gilhouse and Elizabeth Sabinoff are sadly no longer together. The two Married at First Sight stars broke it off earlier this year as they announced on social media that they were no longer dating. After the show came to an end, the two continued dating for a short time before finally calling it quits. They declared their breakup saying, We have mutually decided to end our relationship as boyfriend and girlfriend. We want to thank everyone for the endless support we have received on our platforms. Even though the two stars are no longer together, they remain very close friends. Natasha Spencer and Mikey Pembroke. One thing led to another. Me and Stacey had a few drinks in Yvonne and Alex's room. Are you kidding me? For those of you that have watched season seven from the very beginning, you will know that things between Natasha and Mikey didn't start great. Some viewers even showed their disapproval for the match between the two. Well, it turns out those viewers were right because Natasha and Mikey ended the show as friends and didn't make any plans of ever reuniting. During the final dinner party of the show, the two were nowhere to be found. I guess they both came to the mutual agreement of skipping the dinner. Mikey also revealed a secret near the end of the show, shocking everyone. Poppy Jennings and Luke Eglin. It's all good. Tonight. Just like the story of Seb Gilhouse and Elizabeth Sabinoff, Poppy Jennings and Luke Eglin didn't last too long together. Everyone who watched the show thought that these two were meant for each other and they would go on to marry. Well, they almost did, until Poppy had a complete breakdown on her wedding day. We don't know the true story behind their breakup, but what we do know is that Poppy went back to her two kids after the relationship ended. Amanda Michaeleff and Tosh Hers. We're both just miserable, and I don't want this. It doesn't make me miserable. I, I, well, I've I, learned a lot from this experience. I'm glad. Records say they are meant to be broken. Well, that's exactly what Amanda Michaeleff and Taj Hers did by becoming the very first lesbian couple to be on Married at First Sight. Even though things started well for the two lovebirds, they still ended up apart. The cause of their breakup was down to the fact that neither of them felt an actual connection to each other. Before the two ended things, they took some actions that didn't only end the relationship, but also any form of friendship they had. Amanda shared a now-deleted post on her Instagram stories that slammed Tosh, saying, Who you are and how you hold yourself through bad times is what defines your character. Anyone can have enough entourage of false followers to help mask your shitty personality, but who you are alone says it all. Well, on the other hand, Tosh went public with her new girlfriend even before the breakup was finalized. Michelle Karen and Steve Burley. And Steve... Our season together is over. We are done. Steve, you have wasted my time. Before going into a relationship, know that whatever your partner might have done in the past should always stay in the past. Well, I guess Steve Burley didn't get the memo. Michelle Karen and Steve Burley dated for a while when the show was on, but after Steve revealed that Karen had cheated in her previous relationship, things took an ugly turn. After multiple arguments and fights, Michelle and Steve couldn't take it any longer, and they both called it quits at the final vow ceremony. During the final episode of the season, Steve revealed that the pair was still very much on good terms. He said, Where we were after that is a close moment, and I will love Michelle until the day I die. Casey Osborne and Drew Brower If there was one couple we all believed would withstand the test of time and go the long way, it was Casey Osborne and Drew Brower. The two were even among the very few couples that made it past their final vows, with Drew gushing over his beautiful bride. Despite all their efforts to make the relationship work, just like the other couples ended things. For now, the two are just friends, and they would like to keep it this way. In a leaked Instagram message that surfaced online, Casey was quoted telling Stacy, Honestly, now, Drew and I talk like friends, and it's nice. 
We don't talk a lot, but when we do, it's fine. I have zero feelings for him now. Josh Palak and Kathy Evans. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Jeez, at least, at least let me contribute. Can I use the handcuffs? Look, oh, I'm the man of the law. As far as strong couples go, no pair came close to Josh Palak and Kathy Evans. However, their love story didn't last for long as the two ended up splitting up. The cause of the two's breakup is still yet to be determined, though we suspect it has something to do with Kathy. During the show, she revealed that she had some trust issues and even disappeared one night after a commitment ceremony. Luke then agreed to the fact that they had issues with Kathy and he said, Kathy would go do her things and then get in a higher car and leave without saying goodbye. It's all good and well to act like the happy couple on camera, but it should be the same off camera too. Stacey Hampton and Michael Goonan. I'm swallowing my pride and I'm apologizing now and I apologize. That's not good enough. But what is good enough? When can I apologize? You should have apologized. Okay. Stacey was clearly not impressed with her pairing and showed no interest in Michael from the start. Michael then reportedly had a kiss with co-star Haley and the pair went their separate ways. When Stacey was asked during a Q&A whether the chance she and Michael would get back together, she slammed, I would rather swallow acid and die. It then transpired that Stacy had cheated on Michael with Mikey, a one-night stand she continued to deny. In a surprising coupling, Michael and Casey Osborne got together after the show. However, it was revealed they have officially split after five months of dating. They confirmed their relationship in April and had been living together at Michael's house and appear to be going strong having been recently spotted on a date night in Melbourne. Alex Markovic and Ivan Sarkula like we were back on our wedding day, that warmth, gazing into each other's eyes, didn't feel like I wanted to look away or... Real estate agents Ivan and Alex had so much in common and bonded over their Eastern European families. Alex even called her husband the male version of herself, and the pair were spotted holding hands after the show. Unfortunately, when the reunion aired, co-star Natasha confirmed they were no longer together. She said, from what I understand, Ivan still has a lot of love for Alex, and what I understand from Alex is that Ivan was becoming really close with Mikey, and we have all seen Mikey as a bit of a playboy party boy, and Ivan was getting a bit too sucked into that lifestyle. So Alex was like, why am I about to move my life from Perth? So from what I understand, she's completely blocked Ivan and doesn't talk to him or anything. Connie Creighton and Jonathan Muselin. Why he feels yeah, that way, I do, because I'm a sensitive person and, you know, he, he's scared of hurting my feelings. Connie and Jonathan started off well, but the cracks started to show when Connie called her husband immature. The pair parted ways and vowed to remain friends. And there you have it, married at first sight, then and now. With that, we have come to the end of today's video. One thing we can all learn from Season 7 cast of Married at First Sight Australia is that marriage is not something to rush into. What do you think? Do you agree with this or not? Let us know in the comment section below. And until next time, stay safe and we'll see you in the next video.